Uh, New Readers is a foundation program, uh, and you can go to the next one, um, and then just skip to the next one, actually. It's exactly what it says. So we're working, as Casey mentioned, on understanding and serving potential readers in countries where access to the internet is quickly growing. Um, you can go to the next slide. Our focus countries for now have been Mexico, Nigeria, and India. That means that's where we have the most research, um, but we're also working some in other countries, maybe in your country. Um, you can go to the next slide, Sadeep. Um, so we started with research, next slide, that was exploring um, a set of questions, as Casey mentioned, particularly from a high level. How do people find information? So this is not just about the internet. This is not just about how they use Wikipedia, but how do they go and learn things? Do they learn from their friends or their families, from their teachers? Do they do Google searches? Um, and then we also wanted to understand how Wikipedia can help. Do people know about it? What do they know about it? Um, do our, is, is, the, is it tailored to meet what they need it to do for them right now? Um, and you can go to the next slide. So to do this, we went to learn from experts, from people themselves who are out in their, in their context, in their cities, in their states, in their countries. And you can go to the next slide. Uh, and this took three forms. So in every country that we worked in, we um, have met with community members there to make sure that we were in asking interesting questions uh, and that they could be included in kind of understanding and shaping how we viewed our research. We did phone surveys uh, covering across the three countries, a total of 11,000 respondents and I think 16 languages. And so these were uh, touchstone surveys. We were able to see aggregate data across the country with that. And then we did design research. So actually going into countries and speaking to people, um, seeing how they use their phones, how they use other technology in their world. Uh, you can, next slide. And you can just skip to the next one after that. So we learned it a lot, um, but what we're focusing on at this point is on two main areas for, for challenges that, that uh, Wikipedia faces in the, in, in the regions that we did research in. Um, the first is awareness, which we're going to talk about in a little bit more depth. The other is access. And so just so you know, what we mean by access here is uh, reasons that people are not able to read Wikipedia. That might be cost related. It might be that they don't have internet at their school or in their home um, or, or other potential reasons. Um, next slide. When we think about awareness, uh, just to give you some, some sense of, of the sort of ladder of thinking about this, we think about uh, people going through stages of learning about Wikipedia. So at the beginning, we want people to be able to say, I've heard of Wikipedia. That's it, just I've heard the word. For the next, we want them to be able to say, uh, use value, I use Wikipedia for um, school or for work. And then we want them to have attribution to be able to really understand where, uh, where their content is coming from and, and uh, have some sort of digital media literacy around Wikipedia. Uh, next slide. So what we learned in the countries that we've been working in and also some others that we've surveyed have been the internet, like awareness of Wikipedia among internet users really varies a lot globally. So this is these are the numbers for people who have internet and report whether they have or haven't heard of Wikipedia. You'll see in the markets where we traditionally do pretty well in the US and in France that we have 87% of people or 84% of people saying that they've heard of Wikipedia. In Iraq, it's just 19%, in India, just 33%. So we have a lot of work to do there to help people understand the amazing resource that can be available. Next slide. Uh, so you can go to the next one as well. So our main finding from the research here is just that as a brand, Wikipedia is not widely recognized or understood. So we heard stories out in the, out in the field. Um, you can go to the next slide that really uh, betrayed that people have a lot of misconceptions. Those people who have heard of Wikipedia, so that 19% in Iraq or that 27% in Nigeria, um, even those people don't necessarily understand what Wikipedia is, right? They say, you're searching in Wikipedia. We had somebody say that Wikipedia was a social network you could use to connect with people in the US. Um, and we want people to understand what Wikipedia is so that hopefully they can use it and benefit from the amazing work that our volunteer community does. Um, and hopefully someday become contributors and participants in our movement. Uh, 